Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. My name is Spange and you're joining me here on Planet Hell. If you remember from the last episode, we've just touched down on this planet. It is hot, it is radioactive, it is deadly, but it is also beautiful. There's some big ass uh, overseers over there you might be able to see. Um, it is also 8.2 now. Uh, last week, unfortunately in the middle of my <laughs> pre-recorded episodes, uh, Elion dropped 8.2 onto the live release, so we now have all the benefits of 8.2, which includes a lot of icon changes and things like that. Look at laser rifle cells, they look awesome. Fusion cell, the minigun bullets, the detector looks great. Or scanner, looks like a visor. It's amazing, there's some really cool, really cool icons coming in. Um, let me show you a few more, because I, I, I looked in this box just before I hit the record button, my reaction was, what the? <laughs> Look at the PL Charge SVs, they look so cool! All the fusion cells and stuff have changed, I'm not sure about these ones, but some of them are really good looking, like the home, the rocket missile, uh, rocket launcher missile, 15 mil bullets, look at railgun bullets, they look so badass now. So some of these are really, really cool changes. LS Charge BA, I don't know, it looks like an upside down radioactive bucket, but whatever. So. Some better than others, but you know, some good icon changes there. And obviously, if you want to see the full uh, list of changes, look at water containers. That's crazy. Uh, if you want to see the full list of changes, I did do an 8.2 update video, but it was for the experimental. Um, pretty much captured everything, but there are uh, patch notes and stuff you can read on on the main website, on the forums, on the on the official forums. You can read the patch notes on the official forums, and they cover pretty much everything you need to know. But uh, as we go through this, we'll, we'll surely discover more and more. Um, what I have done, just off camera here, is I put on some heavy armor. Now I put on some heavy armor because my medium armor that I had on before, and I do prefer medium armor because it just it burns less food. Uh, you can maneuver a little bit better in there and everything like that. But the medium armor wasn't giving me the temperature radiation uh, protection that I required, even if I did it up with multi uh, boosts and the radiation boosts, the uh, insulation boosts and things like that. It just wasn't doing it. So the heavy armor has natively got more radiation and more temperature uh, protection. I put a bunch of multi boosts in there and an insulation boost. I now have protection up to 86 degrees centigrade and tw 22 rads. Now, if we look in the top right, just under the minimap, we've got 64 degrees centigrade and 19 rads, which means now I can just walk out and I'm absolutely fine. Um, I'm a bit slower than I normally am in terms of just wandering around and stuff. But I'm going to go and quickly check out this wood cabin, which is not on fire because uh, reasons. And see if there's anything useful in there. Um, we can take, if we could loot this a little bit. We could take it apart and stuff. I don't think there's going to be anything amazing in here. A personal cargo box. We can't access it. And that's the extent of it. So yeah, pretty, pretty useless. But take the core out, and then we can salvage things like that. And we can put all this stuff in towards um, the the Reavers, the Reavers Fate, which is the new SV. Some of you might be familiar with the Reavers Fate. Uh, a lot of you probably not, but it's uh, it's one of my SV builds. Uh, it's quite old now, actually. It's been around the block a bit. Oh, I should have got that antenna. That's usually got good stuff in it. But it is uh, it is a good SV. It's tough. Uh, it, it's a real survivor, and. Um, it's armed. It's armed to the teeth. Uh, one thing you might notice, uh, eagle-eyed viewers down there, in the bottom right corner is a little red icon. It's the salvage icon. It's this one here. Um, just next to where it says ammo and current range. It's red at the moment. As I move my uh, cursor over different blocks, it changes color. So the wood one here uh, is red. And that's because these particular blocks won't give me anything back. As I take them apart, I get nothing. But this one will uh, that one won't so on and so forth so you can decide and be fairly picky with what you salvage and what you're going to get out of that salvage now which is quite useful it's quite useful as before it was just pot luck and you'd end up spending um, a lot more multi-tool charges uh, when you didn't have to so that's nice i mean uh, we didn't get much out of that wood cabin but you know it was 
It's a fun little example of how my heavy armor is going to protect me on this planet now. Um, I don't know why I'm heading back here. I was just going to chuck this into my factory, wasn't I? I was literally just talking about that. Uh, one other thing as well is I've been completely neglecting any of the missions. Now, we did pure epicness. I did that when we were back in the Zenu mainframe. Um, no man on the moon. Yeah, I need to do that, but that requires going back to the moon. That's fine. Defeat an alien base or defeat these alien bases. I think we could probably do that uh, once we find them. I've got to just take note of Epsilon base, Zenu base, Ghost Rider, and Rados bases. And if I come across them, I'll have to remember to come in and activate this mission. Drone Hunter. That's an easy one to do. It's an easy one. I should have that active all the time. Uh, at least until I finish it. Destroy the drones. Uh, you can see it on the right now. Uh, rocket drone, minigun drone, cannon drone, plasma drone, space drone. Well, we know we've already killed all of those. <laughs> but obviously the missions aren't automatic. You've actually got to activate them in order for them to, to kick in. So there we go. I've, I've activated them now. Right. What we're going to do on today's episode, we were, we were going to take the miner out because we're looking for the restrooms, the cosium, and the likes. And this is a big planet. It is a big, big planet. And if I take the nightshade out, I can probably get around it a lot quicker. But I won't be able to mine any of the ores that I come across. So. I'm just going to load up, I think, on a little bit more ammunition. Let me just check what ammunition it does have. We put a little bit in last time. It has 800 rounds. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some more. I'm going to need some more oxygen in there. I'm going to need some more power in there. So let me grab all of that. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. This thing is busy churning out all that satium. So I think what I need to do is take some of this nitrous cellulose. Uh, pop it in this one here. And then you should be able to build me some 15 mil, right? Which ones are those? Are that, that's that one there. Let's have, um, yeah, that many of those. Do that. And then obviously we'll take a few more fusion cells. I've got five on me, but I'll take 10. That should be more than enough. And then we've got 40 oxygen bottles. That should be more than enough. And I've got some 15 mil here, actually. I'll take that. There we go. And I don't think I'll need anything else. I've got minigun rounds. I've got laser charges. Trying to get used to these new icons. <laughs> and I would really like um, six laser drills for my hover. I should be able to unlock those now at least. Let's have a look. Hover. Laser drills. There we go. Oh, and the multi turret may as well. Grab that. They cost. So, yeah, we're, we haven't got the Zoscosium alloy. And we've got a bit of the restroom in here. We've got a bit of Zascosium in here. But we're not anywhere near the quantities that we need. So that's what we're going to be hunting for. And we know that this planet benefits from a restroom and Zacosium because the map says so. More restroom than Zacosium, only 15 of those, 24 restroom, um, and bits and bobs of other ones. So yeah, once this ammunition's ready, we'll take the mine. Not that ammunition. <laughs> this ammunition's ready. We'll take the miner out um, and we'll go see what we can. We can find because last time we turned the miner on, you remember the, de the, the detector just lit up straight away. But the problem with being in the miner is that it's only got two minigun turrets and two Gatling cannons to defend itself. Now, that's fine for drones. If we come across POIs, we are just going to have to avoid them for now. Um, but don't worry because I'll take note of where they are. And when I've got a Reaver's Fate or a Crusader tank or a Zocking Great Big CV, I will come back and I will smash their faces in. You can guarantee it. <laughs> Alrighty. I think this will be enough ammunition. We'll soon find out. Alright, I'm going to go this way around. Because uh, reasons. <laughs> no, no, no. But we should have enough fuel and extra oxygen to, to keep us going. So let's get out of here. Let's see what we can find. Like... I said the uh, detector is detectoring quite convincingly uh, in the northward bound sort of direction. So let's go that way. We're going to rock drill our way through some of this because there's so many rocks around. There we go. 
but what have we got north then? But the detector on the hover vessel has got quite the range, so you do sometimes have to go a fair old distance. Um, we're getting the north and northeast now. Wow, this map is incredible. Look at these rock, look at these lava cliffs. What the hell was that? Did you see that? Look at these things. Oh my god. No, that is shooting not purple stuff at me. It's all yellowy crap at me. That's nice. I'm headed sort of north northeast. Wow, look at this. These rocks. I bet if I take one of these big rocks out, they give me a lot of stuff. Can I can I even do that? Oh, I'm being attacked. Yeah, 143 crushed stone. Fair play. Right, well, we've got actually anything up here. We lost daylight already, I've noticed. Now I've lost the north one. Let's head east. Well, it's either going to east or west. Let me head east. See what we can find. It's really strange that we would go from being surrounded by five or six things to now only having two things, one in one direction, one in the other. Hey, look at this. Look at all this. We've got a retro deposit. Perfect. There's a drone. But look at all this uh, pentaxid here. This is crazy. Now, is that drone? Plasma drone. Got him. And we've got some assassin coming up on me as well. Well, I might stop and get some of this pentaxid because uh, these crystals, these crystals uh, hold four pentaxid. I want to say. Let's find out. Let's park. Park here. We hold C. Put it on the ground. It will stay there now. I can wander around. Uh, everything's still within my suit tolerance. We still have. I can still walk around quite comfortably out here now, even though I am actually stood on molten rock by the look of it. <laughs> okay, let's actually uh, press on and get this get this restaurant deposit into play. There's loads of pentaxid around here. I wish there I wish I could pick it up actually within the hover. Let me just check something quickly. This doesn't pick up these guys, does it? You cannot Damage this with the weapon. Okay, fine, 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 fine. All right. What about? Oh, easy. What about the drills? If I set them to rock drill. Oh my God! I've got all sorts of things under me. Well, that. Wait, did that actually pick it up? No. It destroys it, but it doesn't pick it up. Well, that's not good. Just double check. Don't. No, don't. Don't pick it up. Okay. Don't use the rock drill against the the, uh, the uh, pentaxid because it'll just delete them, basically. At least if you pick them up by hand, they will regrow. Okay, so the restroom is SSOR, by the look of it. So we're going to have to go and hunt down these nodes. Which is fun. Meanwhile, I'm getting uh, attacked by assassins. I don't know if these guys actually do any damage. I assume they're not, and it's just useless attacks against the uh, the metal. But I don't want to take the risk, especially when they're, uh, they were underneath the hover vessel. They're gonna be hitting a fuel tank or something. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. We've got some restroom coming in now. I'm gonna mine the rest out, and I'll come back to you in a sec. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a big boat. That is a big boat over there in the sky moving away from me thankfully moving away from me uh, I don't know if you guys can see that um, that might help might, might not that is a patrol vessel that is a patrol vessel over there that's definitely moving away yeah it's just disappeared okay that yeah that was slightly scary <laughs> really come across all of a sudden uh, let's skip across this lava lake and hope the damn thing doesn't drop into it like I uh, used to do with water. Uh, I'm going to head south here, try and follow this detector thing. I've noticed that the hover vessel is continuously trying to dip its nose, however, into the lava, so I'm, I'm constantly trying to adjust it 
next day up. I see a drone ahead of me. Switch into Gatlin's. I just want to get across this lava lake now. <laughs> Please don't fall in the lava, it will kill me. I like water, which you can kind of survive in because you've got air. Now, lava will just literally toast you. Uh, okay, two big drones here. This is going to be interesting. What's my range? 282. I have to get right up to them. Another restroom deposit. I'm hoping to come across as a Dacosium deposit at some point, just so I can tick that off. And two large, or one large minigun. Come on, come on, come on. Plasma, I'm not too worried about because, uh, oh my god, how many, how much is this guy taking? Let's get my turrets involved. Turrets involved. Don't stop shooting. Come on. Let's get them in range, I guess. <laughs> they are quite useless once they actually start getting hit, I guess. Uh, right, okay. I thought I saw something over there, but no, I'm, I'm okay. Right, let's grab these guys, because these guys are going to have some tasty, tasty PL charges. Love it. I'll be able to upgrade the Nightshade with plasma cannons at this rate. Um, especially with the pentaxid on this planet, is crazy amounts. It's everywhere as well. Look at this guy. I think you're all that, don't you? Right. How did he open the door? <laughs> Please don't clip through. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> clip through. You suck. Please die. And also, um,. I can jump up here, right? Thank God. Yeah. The second I was like, I don't know if I could jump high enough to get back into that thing. I left it at three meters high. Okay, I got another restroom deposit to dig out. So um, I guess he'd be right back. But interestingly, I've still got things south, south, north, and east. I, I don't understand what could possibly be north. I suspect it's something over here. And it, and it, or over here, and it's, it's saying north when it's when it's not actually north. But anyway, uh, let me dig this out, and I'll be right back. Now I'm having to use my drone here because um, I was in uh, this should be ground drill. I was in my hover, and I was drilling this rock here, um, and it, it and it seems to be stuck. Basically, I can't. Uh, it won't seem to go away. Uh, so I couldn't actually get the hover driller any further down underneath that one. Well, I, I probably could have if I drilled around it, but um, I, I figure what I'll do is I'll just go into my drone here and drill it out by hand. Well, it actually appears that there are two of these these rocks in this particular deposit, which is a shame. Yeah, you just can't seem to drill them out. They are stuck. They're indestructible, so we're just going to have to move on, uh, unfortunately. Never mind. Can't catch them all, apparently. Okay, thrusters, engines are on. Where are we going now? Now we got something still south, so I'm going to head... I'm going to carry on south. We will eventually come to the pole, of course, but uh, that will eliminate that big sort of north-south Promethean deposit. Where was that? Oh, that's just there. Medium promy deposit. I might come back for that. I'm on the hunt for Zascosium more than anything at the moment. So let's see if we can get that. Another Promethean deposit. It's off to our left. Uh, south just disappeared and then reappeared. And there is a POI over there as well. I'm going to head towards that. Not to engage, but to make sure there isn't any other deposits near it. Let's check if there are no other deposits near it, I guess. I certainly don't want to engage it. That's the abandoned factory anyway, so it's not armed, but there's plenty of bad guys around it, so the good news is I can go near it, I guess. They are drone sneaking up on us behind us. Cheeky little bladder. Right, let's carry on south. There's gonna be something here. Oh, hello, yeah, there's a big floaty POI. Uh it looks like a shrine. Ouch. Unknown artifact. 
going to head west a bit. Got a drone just over there. And drones usually hang around things, so... Yeah, here we go. A small Zascosium deposit. <laughs> is it worth it? Yes, it is. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Help me out, turrets, help me out. Oh gosh, there's too many rocks. Alright, there's one, one down. Uh, this is not designed for fighting. <laughs> I've lost a few blocks. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hull has been compromised. We're okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We've found a zircosium deposit. Though. That's the important thing. Let me just do a quick spot repair over here. Oh dear. Yeah, we lost a lost a block up there. There, yeah, we lost a block on top of this constructor as well. There's little half blocks. They don't take a lot. They don't take a lot and they're gone. Alright, let's loot these buggers. Flux coil. Flux coil. Nice. Alright. Let's get this Zacosium deposit then. Zascosium. Uh, this is SSOR as well by the looks of it. Guys, everywhere. What do you want? Ah, oh, you spitting that crap at me again, are you? Big butt bug. You want to play as well, do you, boy? That lasted long, didn't it? Woo, okay, here we go. Right, same routine as always. This one is really spread out. This is going to take some drilling. Look at that, the, the nodes are really spread out. I'm going to drill to every single one of those. God damn. That is a Cosium Alloy, man. It's, uh, this Cosium Alloy is going to be tough. This is the size of the deposits on the planet. And, uh, and I have no reason to doubt that they're no bigger than this. Maybe there might be a medium out there, but I can't imagine it will be by much. And then this is definitely the stingiest resources here. But hopefully this will be enough on its own to get me six laser drills and then that will make this mining lark a hell of a lot easier I tell you a hell of a lot easier that's 30 all right there 16 ingots okay well I'm gonna I'm gonna drill this out you know the drill okay I'm gonna head back to the pioneer I'm gonna put this discosium to use and I'm going to craft six laser drills I'm just gonna go I'm going to go via the west, try and reveal what this west thingy is, highlight on the mini map, uh, while I go up, ultimately I'm going to head, I need to head back here, so I'll sort of try and skim this, this whole sort of area just to mark it off, may as well um, cover a new ground rather than going over the same ground that I've already gone over, that's just switched north, so I should be quite close to that one. Oh, we've got a drone, that's ah, another Promethean deposit, okay. Let's go by this drone, kill that. Uh, a large Promethean deposit. Okay, so I don't really need, I don't really need Promethean right now, but I mean, I mean, it's one of those constants that eventually you do need. <laughs> that drone didn't know what was coming. Yeah, got another thing north. Let's head towards that and see what we got. Yeah, so that's the plan. I get those six laser drills, and then I want to find at least another two Zascosium deposits. I think uh, it might be worth setting up a base on this planet at some point in the future just because obviously there's so much resources on it oh dear oh I seem to have uh, I seem to have run out of power guys and that is why you take spares <laughs> always take spares you never know um, yeah I mean this planet is so huge it's it's got all these rares, including magnesium on it as well, Promethean, and so much pentaxid. If I can harvest enough of the common ores, your irons, your 
copper, silicon, cobalt and stuff like that back on the home planet. Um, you know, I could, I could probably... Oh, that's gone west. I could probably live on this planet for a while. Building up of that is a medium Zascosium deposit. Excellent, okay. Uh, building up enough of these resources and harvesting enough of the sort of POIs and stuff. Make, make enough out of auto miners and stuff like that to never have to come back here ever again within this playthrough. that guy. I have to get these turrets involved because I just can't quite get the uh, gun depression I need on the miniguns. That's why the turrets are firing and the sort of drone doesn't seem to be able to shoot back which is nice. I'll just let the turrets do what they do and that happens. Brilliant. Okay so I'm gonna harvest this discosium deposit as well. I'll see you guys back on the ship. Oh, the terrain is getting a bit dicey around here. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, there's definitely something big and ugly over there. You can just see it across the lava lake there. Right, right there. Uh, oh god, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that over there. I'm just going to use my hover boost to jump that canyon of doom. Uh... I might be getting myself in all sorts of trouble here by trying to spot that thing. I want to get close enough for it to sort of ping up and go, oh, you found this POI, what up? But I don't want to get so close that it can shoot me because it looks like a drone base. Like a proper job drone base. Drones swarming all over it. I really need an SV for this, not a mining HV. Um, I'm going to go in close to this minigun drone here. Alright, help me out. Thank you, turrets. Very kind of you, sirs. Very kind of you. I actually, I can. Yeah. Getting some decent amount of uh, ammunition from these uh, drones. It's another 1500 rounds I can add to that. Pretty good. Right, let's see if we can get close enough to this thing without it shooting at us. Uh, base 2. Alright, base 2. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, fine. We're going to leave you alone, base 2. Leave you well alone. Because I'm going to head back to the ship now, as promised. I did dig out that um, Zascosium, but it took a while. It's the medium one is as spread out, if not more spread out, than the small one that we found. And whew, Dug a lot. I'm done digging. <laughs> I'm done digging with these drills, at least anyway. Uh, the laser drills are pretty awesome. and They're, they're not too bad to, deal, to, to dig with. I do want to get another... Uh, well, let's, let's give us a ship and let's see how much of the resources we've got that we want. Um, because obviously I want to head home and I want to start manufacturing auto miners to put on the uh, the basic resources back at uh, base. Hey Pioneer, how you doing buddy? Good man, that's what I like to hear. Let's hear turrets still doing their jobs. Even when I'm away. Let's get in there. Alright, here we go. Power off. Whoo-wee. That was intense. I might repair this thing up a bit. And we lost... Lost a few blocks. Only the little ones, sort of half blocks here and there, so that shouldn't be too difficult to repair. Um, let's see, what did we get then? Ooh, we have taken a bit of damage. Look at all these damaged. Oh, well, how, how did a hover booster get damaged? It's on the underside. Oh, I wonder if that was those goddamn assassins attacking me from underneath. Maybe they do damage stuff. There we go. Alright, so we got. Uh, three and a half stacks of Arrestrium and one and a half of Zascosium. So that's what I mean. I, I definitely want to get some more Zask. Uh, I think Arrestrium is generally used more. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I've got, I have a bit of Sathium. Uh, yeah, let's grab... 
grab one of those, put them in the constructor, and then, um, oh, hang on, I'm going to have to organise this a bit. Let's put the, the crushed stone over here. Crushed stone is useful. It's worth keeping. Um, I'm going to put in those two towards the uh, Reaver's Fate here. Okay, let's, let's take one of those and put them back. Let's start filling up some of the cargo uh, space in the Pioneer. Now in this one, what I can do is get you going on six of these drills. Now before you you do this, right, it's a very very important trick because if you look at the um, if you look at the requirements of a T2 laser drill, you got motor, mechanical components, the schizomalloy, power coil, drill module T1 mechanical is one of the requirements of that. So if you just queue them up, it's going to create a whole nother T1 drill, but you've got you've got them already. So you can uh, make the build process of these things a hell of a lot quicker by taking your T1 drills off of your current hover vessel, your current miner, shove them in the constructor, and then queue up your six laser drills and what you'll find is that the constructor will go away and it will do all the rare ore stuff your zascosium and uh, zascosium alloys and, and things like that and then it will build the drill and it's so much quicker it's so much quicker because otherwise they would have to build the whole t1 drill and anyway you get it you get it so yeah just bear that in mind uh if you are building your t2 drills take your t1 drills off of your hover vessel put them in the constructor before you start building them it will save you forever <laughs> waiting for these things to build so they do take they do take a long time uh so i've got 153 plasma charges which is really nice that's 177 plasma charges that i've just got off of drones these things are valuable these are these are valuable charges because plasma charges like i said before uh have i actually unlocked them let's let's see if we can unlock them small vessel plasma cannons here we go I don't know why pulse lasers are such high level, they're useless. Um, although they are quite good in a dogfight PvP. They're insta hit. Plasma charges, plasma charges. Here we go. Power. A restroom gel, four raw pentaxid, and four plastic. The plastic, I would say, nah, whatever. But the pentaxid and the restroom gel there, it's obviously very valuable resources. And uh, just killing drones there, I managed to get 177 of those charges. So, woohoo! That's awesome. I'm going to top up my oxygen. Let's double check the uh, Pioneer isn't running out here. Oh, we've still got 59% left, that's fine. Top that up. Nice. Actually, food isn't too, too badly. I can't remember when the last time I ate a ration pack was. Hey, look, the burgers have uh, changed icons. They look slightly more appetizing now. <laughs> Only slightly, though. So there we go. We've got two drills already. Um, so we'll, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these drills uh, on the hover vessel, and then I'm going to find another. try and find another... Zascosium deposit, and what I might do is head head north this time, and and then I've sort of gone south to north, and hopefully there's a Zascosium deposit somewhere around here. We shall see, but I'll, um, I'm just going to cut this while we wait for those to build. Just while we wait for those to build, I'm just going to repair. We're going to try and repair the uh, blocks that we lost. We only lost a few of those. No, that's still intact. The shutter doors are still there. Um, now, what was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? What's missing from this scene? <laughs> the, the drills that I just <laughs> just stripped off of it. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's definitely something. There's nothing missing here. And I think that is one of these like that and I don't know if there was something on top of it I don't think there was so it should be ship shape and um, Bristol fashion there we go uh, oh, bit of damage block there uh, once I put the laser drills in I think what I'll do is I'll save oh, there is a block missing here as well I'll save the uh, template I, I keep forgetting to do that you have to save the template, especially if you plan on using a, uh, a repair bay at some point and you want to repair to template. 
you have to actually save a template um, and I'll just show you how to do that real easy you can just stick these drills on first of all Oh, maybe this is a big upgrade. Ooh. Is that as far back as you can go? I guess so. There we go. That's all in line, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that is good. Um, there we go. We are laser drilled up. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So to save a template, what you do is you go into the P menu here and you just click in the bottom left corner underneath the health. Uh, it says 99% here, so um, I'm going to save the template anyway. And there's probably a damage. In fact, we know there's a damage block. There's damage blocks everywhere. Uh, but what I can do, this isn't too bad. What I can do is once you do get a repair bay, you can actually set it to repair damage blocked. Then I can retake a temp. Uh, retake a template, providing it's not completely ruined. Or at the very least, if it is ruined, I can repair to a template, then repair blocks, then save a new template. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's convoluted. All right, so we got 12 more fusion cells, and we still got 34, uh, 11 ration packs. We are good to go back out. Let's head back out. Uh, I'm going to jump into this cockpit just to move it out of out of the hangar bay. Oh, I think I've turned on. There we go. Unstuck myself. Easy, easy. All right, there we go. Now I can switch to the big cockpit. And we have six laser drills to go and have fun with. So yeah, we're gonna head north. We're looking for another Zascosium deposit. If, uh, if we find another restroom, I might mine it out anyway because, well, you know, may as well, kind of thing. But uh, primary mission, Zascosium. Got a drone, two drones up ahead. That's in a restroom deposit, three drones. Oh boy. This could be interesting then. Oh, boom. Killed that guy. That guy went down like a sack of summon. I don't want to get lost down the rabbit hole. This is the difficulty with this detector. Uh, you know, it keeps leading you sort of in the wrong direction sometimes. I just want to head north. Whoa, hello. Cheeky. These guys take such a beating. I need to tip them. There's one. Come on. There's two. Jeez, man. Damage these guys take. Uh, this guy's a cannon drone. Yeah, he would have done a fair amount of damage, this guy. Like, what is that? That's a capacitor device. That is a cool looking capacitor device. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, no! Come on! I hate these things. Did I run out of ammo? Or did you just... Why did you swap? I didn't... I didn't... I didn't... I didn't swap weapons. Why did you swap? I thought you ran out of ammo. What, you suddenly decided... Nah. I didn't swap weapons. Why did you go back to the laser? It was nowhere near the mouse wheel. I want a refund. I got a dermal parasite. Ah, oh, these things are just... These things are just evil. Pure evil. Look at this guy. Go away. Ah. Oh my god! Oh 
bitch. Just die. You scum. You insect scum. Ah, crap, there's another two there. That's right, they seem to be stuck on the thing. I'm gonna leave them there. I need to get out and, uh... Nope! Shooting my own goddamn ship. Look at these swines. Three of the freaking things. I want to get out and use my med station. Right, you know what? You know what? You asked for it. You asked for it. You literally asked for it. Where, where are my turrets? Where are my turrets? Right, turrets. My group, which is nice. Predator. Will you sort these fuckers out, please? Turrets. Tur turrets. They're, literally, they're ignoring it. They're literally ignoring it. These things, like, what What are they? Are they not predators? Are they prey? Because they're, they're... I'm prey to them. I make some predator. Oh my god, you can't hit them at all. Oh my god, seriously! Ah! Go away! Literally, worst enemy ever. Worst enemy ever. Heal me. No, you don't. You don't cure a dermal parasite, do you? Stop crashing into the ground. Everything about this is now frustrating. <laughs> My turrets wouldn't shoot predators. They wouldn't shoot the bugs for some reason. My turrets failed to select predators. Even though I told them to, they've sort of unselected it, which is great. Seems to be doing their own thing. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I have a dermal parasite. I mean, should be okay. I don't know. I can I can heal myself with the med station, but at some point that dermal parasite is going to turn into a full-blown alien parasite thing and probably kill me. So three drones I've had. Four drones. That's a lot of drones. What are they guarding? Do you think? I mean, actually. My marker is saying north. It's not saying over by the drones. There's a Zascosium deposit. There we go. That's what we're waiting for. That's that's what the people wanted. Let's get this damn thing and get off this rock. Okay. I'm going to end the episode there anyway, guys. Uh, I'm going to dig this Zascosium deposit up. What I'll probably do is actually dig that magnesium one up off camera as well. And then um, I want to get off this rock basically because it's it's triggering me uh, <laughs> I want to get back to uh, home base and we can start really pumping out some of the resources and I can start actually pumping it into bigger better ships tanks things like that um, and you know we'll actually get some some real action going um, the auto miners will do all the mining for us so we don't have to do this anymore I have to do this right now. But anyway, yeah. So that's all for today, guys. You can see how the uh, the laser drills are, are so much better, so much nicer to use. You can actually sort of drill from range almost. But that is all for today. Um, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated as always. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Alright, so in here.